turn off my Diane. I need to get to the hospital. I mean, what am I going to tell the kids? How are they going to live without their mum? Let them have this one last innocent Christmas day before their lives get torn apart forever. It doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to be a doctor. How could you let this happen to her? The nurses were running the extra test that you demanded. How were they to know there'd be an adverse reaction? I'm afraid so. I'm not responsible for Diane's death. You are. Wondering what to tell my kids. You made me think the love of my life was dead and, and you reveled in it. I, I admit it was a, a, a step too far. Too far? You've lost a plot. You, you need help. I'm finished, Tony. My career, Diane, my relationship with you. I, I wanted to apologize face to face before they take me away. And lock you up for a really long time. I'd start now. How is she? She's. Shaken. Still a bit confused. But Misba thinks she's gonna be okay. Oh, she's been through an awful lot. Does she know it wasn't me that attacked her? She does, Tony. She knows it was him all along. She loves you. She wants you back. Well, look here. A semi-decent bottle of Chateau Neuf de Pape. This isn't something to celebrate. Why, Dad? And why'd you do this to me? It's Christmas, our last one together. Let's have a glass of wine and a mince pie and then I'll tell you everything. Look, I know, I don't deserve any more of your time, but please. Might as well hear him out. You might never get the chance again. I think it's the least I deserve, don't you? Listen to him. This is all part of his deceitful little plan. Is she right? He's just gonna play games again. Found it. I'll pay you tomorrow. If Yaz wants a lean, mean, superhuman machine, she is gonna get one. Where were we? I don't know. You was gonna tell me that you love me? That this has all been a terrible mistake and that you'd never be able to forgive yourself. You do deserve answers from me, son. And you'll get them. As soon as we've enjoyed one of your homemade mince pies, they look to die for. A final festive feast, and then all will be revealed. Well, tuck in. Tell me, did yours taste a little peculiar? What's it mean? In approximately 28 minutes from now, you will suffer a cerebral hematoma, a brain hemorrhage, resulting in your sudden death. I couldn't let you take Diane away from me. Hmm? Well, I couldn't let you win, could I? It's only a few minutes now. Please, Tony, just come inside and let a doctor see you. There's no point. Everyone's too smart. There's nothing anyone can do. When I go, I don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of medics. I just want to be here with you. How are you feeling? 
Oh, why are you worrying about me? What? You and the kids are all I ever worry about. I'm just glad that we're Scott right now away from all of this. If I'd have sussed out what everyone was doing, had I realised what he put my family through, I'd have killed him myself. That's that for bleak irony, eh? Look, write everything down. Get Verity's confessional tape. Make sure the police, make sure they have everything. Edward might be able to fool the medics, but at least he'll be investigated. Yeah. And the kids. Promise me you tell them how much you love them. How proud I am. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Despite everything. I love you so much, Diane. I'm so sorry this is how I'm saying goodbye. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Are you sure? Yeah. He wanted me dead. No, no, no. He, he told me in great detail. I should be sipping away right now. Well, so maybe you got it wrong. Maybe he made a mistake. <laughs> oh, no. You are sick. I'm still your father. Show me some respect. You're Tony's father, too. He won't suffer. No, you're wrong. Diane will never forgive you for this, and neither will I. You're hardly blameless, Verity. You made me an accomplice. You threatened me and you bullied it, and now... Now my brother is out there dying. No, he isn't. Final. Tell you more. 